TJ Net Live Part 2, the second half. Adam Netlock Adams from her conference standing by, and we are ready to roll with Studio 6 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome back for the second half of PJNet Live. We have moved our studios to the beautiful docks on the beautiful lake in the beautiful mountains of where I do not know. But Michelle is an avid fisherman and Michelle Medlock Adams. Uh, folks, uh, I think we're going to start selling tickets to see Michelle because she just <laughs> moments ago was on, I guess you were hosting the Platinum Faith Virtual Summit. Uh, I caught the last few minutes of it. Michelle, I, I'm blown away. I I, I got to hand it to you, girl. You are a champion. Uh, what you're doing well, um, is touching lives. What you're doing is moving the needle. Tell us what you're doing. <laughs> well, can you hear me, Coach? I sure can. Okay, I'm not hearing. I, I can't hear me, so that's okay. Well, I um, I'll tell you what... This virtual summit that we did with Platinum Faith, we talked about doing this all last year as the book was coming together. And we knew that there were certain women we wanted to reach out to to be a part of this platform and share their testimonies and really hit on some of the topics in Platinum Faith about being authentic and, and owning who you are and being real with people and letting your faith guard down, basically, just to be, you know, uh, Victoria is one of the last people. You guys know Victoria Durastock. Some of you go to writers' conferences. That's the last girl that I was interviewing, a mighty woman of faith. And she uh, she said, you know, when she said that sometimes I'm on the hot mess express. And I thought that was like, oh, I've been on that train before many times. <laughs> so I thought that's really good just to be so real with people. Because when you, uh, another speaker said tonight, when you are being authentic, Lacey Buchanan said, when you're being authentic, then you allow other people the right to be human. It gives them permission to be human and, and to be authentic. And I think we're in this world of social media and trying to put our best foot forward that sometimes we are not very authentic with each other, even with ourselves and especially with God. And so um, this women's conference was on our heart, Bethany Jett and myself, who's my co-author, to just be real and just to, to bring in real people with real problems who are real platinum faith walkers. And um, boy, it's just been something. We've got one more night of it. It starts again tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern and uh, four more speakers. But it's just I mean, it could have got, it's like, it's like God even needed an order to put them in. Cause we really didn't know what we were doing coach. We're just kind of winging it. Like it's just, you know, God, we're just being obedient. We're like, Lord, we don't really know what we're doing. We've got people in place to help us, but you know, it's really all you. So God met us and it's been good. Well, Michelle, I was there for the closing minutes. Uh, your last uh, guest, I believe was Victoria. And I yes. saw about the last, well, basically since we got off the air here, cause I knew you had to wrap it up there. Uh, to be here, and we've waited for you. You're worth it. Um, oh, thanks. Let me let me say this. I don't I, the inspiration. I love because that's it, all the same inspiration that God has given me with PJ Net Live is. Let's just be real. Let's be real people. Yes. We've. Uh, I'm all for the theologians and the preachers and all that, but they have their place. We don't have our place. So I wanted to create a place where ordinary, I, I, there is no such thing as an ordinary Christian, an everyday Christian, maybe. How's that? That's good. Um, That's perfect. Very well produced, your program. Uh, well done. You had a lot of people there, but I tell you what, I was the only guy. <laughs> well, we appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, we we just we really just kind of made it an online women's conference, but... Listen, we, we don't care if guys join us. There was a couple who wanted to join, and um, we know that, that you're a good guy, so we're happy to have you apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, um, what is it? Maybe you, maybe you don't know, but I've noticed uh, since becoming involved with Christian writers, it is dominated by females. Why? It's true. Why? I, it is true. I, you know, I think there are a lot more women who write. Um, I think that's just true. And maybe especially in the CBA realm, if you think it, it's not as not as many women or not as many men in that, you should go to a Christian children's writers conference. There's hardly any. There's like maybe one. There's mm -hmm. even less children's writers who are um, who are men, especially in the Christian realm. But I'm not sure why that is. I think I think it's just kind of been the thing. I mean, since I was even in the newspaper business, I would go to all the writers conferences. 
it was almost always dominated by women. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe we're just, maybe we're the only ones going to conferences. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I, I felt like I was in a hen party, but I was really enjoying this one. It was good. Now well, you, thanks. you had several guests. Can you tell us the lineup? Yes, so tonight, uh, well, last night was when we started, we had um, Lane Craft. She's amazing. She actually used to run a magazine called Whoa, W-H-O-A, and had her own talk show. It's, she, it's called Living Lively. And she's just, she's amazing. I, I'll tell you, Lane has a testimony of her, her marriage almost breaking up and all the things that she's gone through with her husband and just, um, she's a spitfire. She's about uh, she's even shorter than I am. I'm five three in a good day. She's probably five two, maybe. And just uh, this blonde bombshell of energy. You think I am energetic? You, you wait till you meet Lane. You have to have her on here. She's amazing, Lane Lawson Craft. But so she was our first guest last night, and she talked about. Um, she's got a book coming out next year with Iron Stream Media, the same people that published Dell Didway, who's one of your regular mm -hmm. guests. Mm -hmm. um, she's got a book coming out next year about about owning it, owning your identity, and, and living life to its fullest. And then um, our next guest, we had, we had several really good. We had Cheryl. Cheryl, um, do you remember her at North Carolina? She was one of our speakers. She was one of our keynoters. Cheryl was just amazing. She spoke about um, being authentic and and your identity in Christ and how um, don't let the world define you, but def but let God define you, which I love to talk about. So Cheryl was one of our speakers last night. Uh, her last name is Pullins. Do you remember Cheryl? I, if I you saw her, have. I know I'd recognize her, but yeah, the name doesn't. She is just a she's a beautiful African American lady who just oh oh has poise, okay I, right yes. just powerful oh, and oh mm, yes she oh, oozes she energy out every pore. Yes. I, yep. I'm amazed at that woman. She's special. Yeah, we need to get so her. I on got here. to interview yeah. her. I was thrilled. And you know you can go back and watch all these much like with your show you can go back and watch the videos mm -hmm. all of these are going to be on our website which is michelle and uh, hey well, guess what guess what i i knew that was coming i didn't talk to you, you about did? it what is up with that what is that a, 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 a new website like the best yeah we just got this up so it's a place where we'll be sharing about all of our books we're doing together because bethany and i do a lot of stuff together because we're best buddies and so, yeah, michelleandbethany.com, Nakia Kelly put that up for us, which you know Nakia. Yeah, She's yeah. the one that's helping us run all this. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we're real excited. So you can go back and watch Lane's interview and Cheryl's interview because she was so good. We also had um, Erica, and I think it's Wiggenhorn. I, I never say her name right, but that's who Bethany interviewed. She's a spitfire. She was great. So we only had three last night. And then tonight we had Stephanie Jones, who has the Attitude of Gratitude, this the gratitude, um, attitude of giving. She is uh, this giving challenge. Oh, she's so good. She speaks at companies and schools all over the United States. You'll, you'll love her. And Stephanie, um, Stephanie Jones is her name. She spoke a lot about um, overcoming fear and about not letting the even the the little aggravate aggravating things that happen to us every day, not letting those impact you in such a way that you can't have a heart of gratitude. And I thought, boy, that's that's so good. I love that. So she was really powerful. And then we had, um, I mean, it was such a good lineup tonight. Oh, Lacey Buchanan. So she wrote, she and Bethany wrote the books together called Through the Eyes of Hope and then The 40 Days of Hope, which is like a, a devotional that goes with it. Lacey Buchanan became sort of a celebrity, not of her own choosing, but she did a, a video on Facebook that went viral about her son Christian and his struggle. He was born with, um, I don't know the technical name, but lots of health challenges that affected even his cranial, uh, the way his face was formed. And she just she just basically was very honest and open in this, this Facebook post. And some people were mean to her, and, but it had like over 11 million views. And anyway, she ended up writing a book. Bethany helped her. And it just, uh, I cried all the way through it. It's it's wonderful book. And so uh, Bethany had a conversation with her tonight. And, and what, what Lacey said was, she talked. She was one that said about being authentic and allowing other people to be human. But she talked about, you know, when, when the heat is turned up, like we talked about that in Platinum, when, when things are going not the way you expect in life, when you get a, a diagnosis and find out that the child you're carrying has lots of health difficulties, and she was getting ready to take the bar exam, she was in law school, all these things are happening at once, and there's a lot of pressure. You have to choose to press into the things of God, because if you don't, you're going down. And so she talked about just you know, having that faith and choosing to stand when when all else is coming against you. And uh, I was, I cried all the way through that. It was such a powerful, powerful interview. 
I loved it so much. And uh, of course, we had Victoria. I just got to interview her. You saw her. She's uh, the author of um, these. The, they're decorating devotion books. It's Heart and Home, and she's got one that's for Christmas now too. So there's two books, and we we're doing giveaways too. Lots of different giveaways. So people are loving that. And then we had one more speaker tonight. I have to think. We had I have to name them all. We had tonight. We had Stephanie and Victoria and Lacey. There was one more. They were also good. Who was the other one? Who was the other one, Coach? <laughs> I was only there from Victoria. Tell Let's us a, now. Um, tell us about tomorrow night. Who's coming? Okay, so tomorrow night we have Jane Rubietta, who is she's an Indiana girl. She's actually from my hometown. We didn't know that until after she moved to Chicago area, but she's from my hometown. Jane Rubietta is a speaker and an author. She's also one of the co-directors of the Right to Publish conference, which we'd love to get you to, um, which is at Wheaton, Illinois, every year at the college there, right outside of Chicago. And then we could all take in a Cubs game. It's so much fun. So, um, but she's, that's, that's Jane. She's just such a cool girl, such a cool writer, amazing speaker to women's conferences. So funny. It's so poignant. You'll love Jane. And she's also a novelist now. She's written a couple of novels. So we're going to begin with one of her books. So Jane is up tomorrow night. We have um, Tiffany Adams. Tiffany Adams is not related to me, but we feel like we could be related. She's a new friend of mine, introduced to me by Kyle Young, who's my agent, right? Mm -hmm. um, Kyle, I think she's uh, one of his clients, and she um, suffered this unbelievable accident when she was 17, hit by a drunk driver, and it, it paralyzed her from the waist down. And so she talks about what she's gone through. She was a, she's, a mo she's a model, she's a fitness coach, and she does it all from wheelchair. This girl will inspire the socks right off of you. Like, every time she talks, I just, I just, I, well, I love her. And we've never even met in person, but she lives in California, and she let me interview her, and we're helping her with her book. I'm telling you, this gal is a powerhouse. She's been on Dr. Phil. She's been on the 700 Club. She's been she's been all over. She's personal friends with the Eastwoods. I mean, she's just she's a kind of a big deal. So you'll want to follow Tiffany Adams on um, on social media. And then let's see, there's one more tomorrow. It's it's uh, we've got a couple more tomorrow. Nikia Nikia Kelly may be on there. We're trying to get her on there. We've interviewed her, but I don't know if she's gonna let us run it. <laughs> she's kind of humble. She's kind of, I'm like, um, we want you on there because you have a great story. How Change Her Story came to be, like her publishing company, that's a miracle in itself. And then there's somebody else. Bethany's got somebody tomorrow. Wendy, I think it's Wendy Fitzgerald tomorrow. Yes. And I, I don't know her, but I know of her. I've heard her speak before. And Bethany got her to, to agree to be interviewed. So these are some pretty amazing people we've got lined up. I, I'm, I'm blown away. I, 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 um, I'm kind of at a loss for words. Michelle, um, <laughs> please let these people know that we're here. I, I would love to have them on our program. Yes. You are giving them an introduction that I don't, I, anybody can't live up to, to your introduction, I don't think. But um, <laughs> They're so great. <laughs> they, they are. And um, I, I got a chance to talk a little bit with uh, Nakia. Um, you should, now I missed it. I'll be honest with you. I was out doing some what we call B-roll. Um but her keynote speech, I did film it, of course, and I'm producing it now. It'll it'll bring tears to your eyes. I mean, she is yes. a powerful, powerful. And it's funny because I had her in our studio doing the little one minute, you know, interview thingy, and and she was just falling apart because she was her head. I should have said we'll do it later. Th looking back on it, because her head was in that keynote speech. And she yeah. she was going on in just a few minutes, but um, I am blown away. Now you were not able to be at the Ohio Christian Writers Conference because you were out bass fishing or something, right? Is that what you you didn't really think it was that important <laughs> to be there? Um. I missed you guys, and I, and I wouldn't have missed it for fishing. Although I do love to fish, but the weather's not been conducive for me. Um, no, I, but I was in I I was at a picture book writers workshop in Iowa. And then my really good friend from Texas, Wendy Lanier, and I were road tripping like Lucy and Ethel or Thelma and Louise or all that combined, probably. Drove all the way to Traverse City, Michigan, really, really far up north in Michigan, to mm -hmm. the Moonbeam Children's Writers Awards Banquet and Children's Festival. And it was a really wonderful time. And we left Sunday morning to drive to Indiana so she could catch her plane. And the day we left, they got 21 inches of snow in 24 hours. So we got out just in the nick of time. Can you imagine? 21 inches of snow in 24 hours, it broke records. I'm like, I'm glad we were not there to witness that. Well, when I arrived in Ohio, it, it was trying to snow. And I drove uh, 2,052 miles on that trip. 
and oh, wow. uh, that's a lot and and a lot of time on the road and i kept thinking to myself you know a lot of times when i'm working or doing this you know the phone will ring and and it's like where are all you people when I'm got nothing to do? I'm driving down the road. I'm really kind of lonesome. Would like to hear somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and of course, I actually did get a call or two. I actually called some people up. I, you know, but I was going in and out yeah. of cell cell signal. You know, so we'd talk a few minutes and yes. then you know, dropping it. But what a what a thrill! Every conference I go to, um, well, I've been to two now. Um, it is very special. Uh, by the way, I want to uh, make an announcement for those of you in the PJNet chat room. Uh, for, because, for some reason, uh, it's not showing up there. But fortunately, live anyway, it'll be there later. Uh, but fortunately, we are streaming live on YouTube. We are streaming live on Facebook. We are streaming live on Twitter. And should have done that months ago. It has worked out so well. And uh, Michelle, you all are just so gracious. Uh, you are... You're going to have to get a booking agent. <laughs> Would you volunteer with that? <laughs> if I'm your booking agent, the only place you're allowed is here. <laughs> well, that'd be all right. <laughs> they'll have to pay, pay me royalties, you know, to, to see Michelle. But um, it's really uh, great. And, and again, Michelle, what you're doing with Platinum Faith is, is it, it started as like a book, I thought, but it's actually yeah. becoming a lot more than just a book. It's a movement. Coach, that's so funny you said that. We said the same thing. We said in a in an interview, it was yesterday, I think I was, uh, was it, no, two days ago, I did a podcast interview with a gal from the Advanced Writers and Speakers Association. And, and I said, I said, it's become a platinum faith movement. Mm -hmm. I said the same thing. I believe that's a divine, uh, a divine term. I really do believe it is because... Um, you know, the, the book is, it's not like it's been a bestseller or anything yet. I mean, it's doing okay, but, but we believe it's so much bigger than book sales. Like even this, this Platinum Faith Conference, I mean, tonight, one of the, one of our speakers, um, Amy, that's the other one I didn't speak about. Amy, Amy Bauman was our other speaker tonight. She was amazing. B-O-U-W-M-A-N, A-M-M-I-E, Amy Bauman. She was also on the 700 Club. She talked about um, her battle with mental illness. And, and, and how, it, you know, the things that she went through and how it destroyed her marriage. And, but then she ended up fine. I mean, God was with her through all of that. So many people don't talk about those things. It's like mm -hmm. they're too proud. But she just put it all out there. And we were, as, as she was sharing her story, women were finding this a safe place. They're saying, I battled postpartum depression. Or I battled bipolar disease. People were sharing with each other. And, and one lady private messaged me for prayer. And I thought, this is so much bigger than building platform. This is so much bigger than selling copies of books. It's a ministry, and I am just, I'm, I'm so in awe of God and, and how he is doing things. I'm so excited to be a part of it. Michelle, I'm proud of you. I really am. And, and, but that's not, that's not the important thing. You know what I believe? I believe that God, if this is the only thing you ever did, which it isn't, if it's the only thing you ever will do, which it won't be, but I'm convinced this alone, you are going to hear God say, well done, my good and faithful Oh, that servant. makes me cry. <laughs> Thank you. I, you, you know, it, it's great to write books. It's great to sell books, Michelle. I mean, and you're, and you're very, very accomplished as a public speaker, but all of that is, is for naught if it doesn't move the needle spiritually out there. Yeah. Amen. That's true. That is very true. And I think, um, I think sometimes as writers, we, that because there's such pressure on us to build platform and to, you know, um, sell make books. sure that we've got the right endorsements and sell books, bottom line, because it's a business that sometimes we, we get our eyes off of the prize, which is souls for the Lord and, and doing the kingdom work. And it, it's times like these when you're reminded why you're in this, because I could be doing, I could be fishing, I could be doing a lot of other things, but, but this is what I was born to do. And I'm, when you finally figure out what it is you're born to do and, and then you're allowed to walk in it, there is no greater joy. I mean, not that it's always easy, because there will be attacks because you are doing what you're supposed to be doing. But um, it's exciting. I mean, I don't think I'll go to bed tonight. I'm so thrilled with all that happened. I don't think we're going to know until we get to heaven what all happened tonight. I'm just so excited. Well, Michelle, I am going to go to bed tonight. But before I do, <laughs> I have highlight videos to produce two of them. Uh, and uh, we'll circle back again uh, next week. Michelle, you are... Thank you. Making a difference. And, and please let those that you interact with know 
uh, that PJNet yeah. stands ready to have Christians tell their story. And, and it's so encouraging. And you are such an encourager. And you do it in a way that's tasteful. You got a lot of class, girl. Really appreciate you. Well, really thanks. I, I really appreciate all that you do too. And I love, I love your people. I love that that they're they're faithful. And I, I just know that God is using you in a mighty way. So it's cool how He connected all of us. These are divine connections for kingdom work. And so we'll keep doing it. I will see you guys next week, and I'll be on time. <laughs> okay, we look forward to it. Thank you. Okay, well, folks, it has been an awesome night here at PJNet Live, but it doesn't end there. You know, we do this now and then, and we're not going to have a live guest tomorrow night. The reason is uh, the PJNet studio is going to be uh, available to my local church. They are doing a Christmas production, and there will be some video, and they need some green screen, and they need a little video help. And my brother in Christ will be in my studio tomorrow. We'll be taping and filming and doing some stuff off the air. Uh, but we encourage you to become a part of PJNet Live. This is your invitation, folks. If you are a born-again New Testament Christian, first of all, you do have a story to tell. And if you don't, you need to work on that. But once you have your story ready, please hit me up. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. And we want your story shared with the world out there because that's what we do here at PJNet Live. <laughs>